gamers to the Game Master's Dungeon. I'm Brian, your Game Master. Today on What's in the Box, we're going to be taking a look at Death Watch Kill Team. The veterans. Just a regular, it's a five man unit of guys. Retails for about 130, not 135, sorry, 35. I've been thinking of that Battle Force they came out with during the Christmas of 2016, which I bought, by the way. And it's a fantastic deal. If you can ever find one for a decent price, pick it up. Um, you know, at first when the Death Watch came out as an army, I was a little hesitant. I like Death Watch. I like their fluff. I play the role-playing game of Death Watch. Loved it. A lot of good memories there. But I'm like, how are they going to make that viable? Or how's it going to translate well to the tabletop? And I think with their rules, they've done a pretty good job. Like, we're going to get it around here, we're going to look at the cover of this, but um, definitely you got the Death Watch feel. You got all the different chapter shoulder pads in there. You got the Death Watch shoulder pads. You got a lot of their classic weapons um, and a lot of new weapons as well that really help them stand apart uh, from other um, Space Marines, different chapters, and different armies. Um, but we're going to get the camera turned around here. We're going to take a closer look. Stay tuned. All right, gamers, we got the camera turned around here, so first we can get a close look here. Some of the uh, the models in the front of the box, really awesome. You got an Imperial Fist on there. It looks like a, a Blood Angel, Ultramarine, Dark Angel. I love their Storm Shields. The way their Storm Shields look, fantastic. Regular Storm Shields, boring, but these amazing. You look at the back. So it's, it's great that they even put like all, all a bunch of the chapter uh, shoulder pads up there. So say you're new to Death Watch or you're new to Space Marines or say you only play Space Wolves, you're like, well, what is a what is a Raven Guard shoulder pad look like? What does a Blood Angel shoulder pad look like? What does a Iron Hands, you know? Gives you a good reference so when you're doing your painting, you can paint it proper. You know, and then it's got, talks about the different weapon loadouts. Got the black shield right here. He's the guy that has no chapter icon, but he's you know trying to redeem himself. The idea of a dual wielding guy is pretty cool. I do like their rules for black shields, but we'll cover that in a different video. Then they got like the Xenophase blade. Looks basically it's a Necron weapon that they've commandeered and turned it into a weapon that they use. You know, the, the weapons of my enemy will slay my enemy kind of ideal. But let's get into it. So first thing you got, you got your little instruction book. Now you're definitely going to want to peruse through this when you're building your guys. Because it talks, you know, it's got all your bits in there that you get. But also when you're building guys, like as an example, you know, a really good example is when you're building like their heavy thunder hammers. Like certain arms, because they hold it, one guy holds it with you know one way, one guy holds it the other way. You got to put the right arm on there, otherwise it doesn't fit together properly. That's why you always want to dry fit your models before you start slapping on the glue. But definitely want to read through this. You know, your first five-man box set, read through this. But then after that, you should have a pretty good, uh, pretty good feel on how to build them. Plus, it's even got the. Uh, the rules, basically the little data sheet, you know, the Death Watch Veterans, it's in multiple languages. It's got your points cost, so it's 110 points for five dudes. Uh, a little pricey, uh, but I think the abilities that you get with them, because they get their, um, you get the mission tactics, which is for, you know, for another video. And you get special issue ammunition, so you have all the different ammunitions like the the AP3 stuff, ignores cover, all that stuff that you can fire through their their bolters and even their like their in furnace bolters and all that other stuff, which makes it really awesome. Okay. Obviously you get five thirty-two mil bases. And then it's just two sprues. It's actually pretty uh, it's a pretty small amount of stuff. Well, I don't want to say small amount, but you know, it's all it's all crammed on there pretty tight. So like I said, so there's storm shields. You get two storm shields. Now, I'm gonna tell you this. 
Um, one guy holds it with the left hand, one guy holds it with the right hand. Um, one guy is going to be able to have a bolter. Because uh, I don't like the idea of like the power malls or whatever. Uh, keep them a little cheaper. You want the, I like to have them with the storm shield and the bolter. Um, but there is not an opposing... So I think the guy that holds the shield in the right hand, there is not an opposing bolter arm. Um, for the, that goes on the left hand. So I had to like scratch build one. Basically I took a space... Uh, no, I took a, a Death Watch arm. I like the one that's got the little... The, the elbow thing, the little elbow icon, uh, trimmed it off and I went and went in my bits and just found a bolter, cut the handle off, glued it on there with the hand and everything so just to kind of you know build one so I could have it. That's one of the things you gotta be looking at as well. You're gonna be like, wait a minute, I don't have enough arms for this. So some stuff, if you're to get it exactly what you want, you're gonna have to do a little extra work. You got a ton of different heads here. All well, those heads. Is you got like the robed head, you've got um, helmetless heads, you've got helmeted heads with different, you know, bling on them. Some guys have like a little targeting thing, a little antenna. I don't want to say generic, but just, you know, your, your traditional Space Marine helmet. I don't, honestly, I don't like a lot of the unhelmeted guys. Uh, first of all, it's extra work in painting, and I'm like, well, what if they get shot in the head? You know, uh, you know, I always think Space Marines will have their helmets on. Plus, I like the way they look better. They have a more classic look to me. Uh, but you got your two heavy thunder hammers, which are fantastic weapons. They hit at strength 10. I think they're AP 1. Uh, with pulverize. Um, cause instant wound, or sorry, instant death on a wound 6. So that's really good. You got your power swords. You got your hyperphase swords. Or your xenophase blades, or whatever they call it. Because um, it looks like a hyperface sword from the Necrons. See, and then you got your robed uh, back piece, you know, for you could put on your uh, black shield. I, I built one of the black shields without that, just like a regular um, torso. Still looks really good. Use this for one of my Dark Angels guys, because I'm a Dark Angel fan. So, you get your, your backpacks all have the little, looks like a little searchlight looking thing on there, you know, a little more. Uh, a little more or less common uh, than the regular Space Marines. But yeah, you're going to have, you know, different arms for different that fit. Because, like, the hands are already attached to the Thunder Hammer right there. you got to have the right arms that fit into the sockets for those hands. So just make sure you read your rule book or your instruction manual. You know, then you've got your... So you've got some of your chapters. You got the Howling Griffins, Black Templars, Brazen Claws, I think. Um, Iron Skulls. You got the Minotaurs, and like the whole top row is all, you know, the big ones here. You got the Ultramarines, Imperial Fists slash Crimson Fists. Just depends on how you paint it. Dark Angel Space Wolves. Oh, wait, sorry. That's Blood Angels. This is Dark Angels. They look they look similar upside down. Salamanders, Raven Guard, White Scars, Iron Hands, Flesh Terrors. Oh, something Eagles. I can't remember. Nova Marines as well. You got Nova Marines patch on there. So that's it. Yeah. That's about all it is to get your... It's nice and simple. You build five dudes. They go together pretty quick. They're really fun to paint because it's a lot of, you know, all black. If you like painting black, this is going to be the honor for you. My Death Watch as an army, I think, is really, really fun. Um, I'm still working on building and painting. I haven't really played a game with them yet. But I plan to here sometime in the near future, probably in the next month or so. Because i got a lot of dudes build uh, to get up to a sizable force to play with my friends. But I give this definitely a thumbs up. Um, for uniqueness of models, the sculpts, uh, the stuff you get, the different weapons in there. Um, you do get the, the Death Watch Frag Cannon, the Infernus Heavy Bolter. You get one of each. So I didn't really show you on the sprue, but you get one of each of those. Um, these Frag Cannons are absolutely amazing weapons. You're definitely going to want to build every, every one of these boxes you buy. You're definitely going to want to build a guy with that weapon. And I definitely suggest the Heavy Thunder Hammers. 
uh, for melee, especially on like a black shield, because a black shield doubles his number of attacks uh, if he's in a combat. I think he's, if he's in a challenge or in a combat where he's outnumbered. So that means he just throws like four base attacks with that strength 10 AP1 weapon. AP1, AP2. I'm going to say AP, AP1. I'll have to check it, but... All right. Well, that's uh, that's what's inside the Death Watch Kill Team box. I hope you all enjoyed this and found some information, and hopefully it got some creative juices flowing. And you're going to want to start playing some Death Watch. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'd love to hear your feedback on what you guys think about the Death Watch, about weapon options, loadouts, things like that. Let's really make it a good discussion. So anybody that's interested in starting new with Death Watch is you know is is on the right foot, is on the right path to success. Or if you disagree with anything that I say, you know, put it in the comments. You know, let me know, hey, I, I think this... Like, Alright, cool, then we can have a conversation about it. But until I see you again in the dungeon, happy gaming.